In physics, string theory is a theoretical framework in which the point-like particles of particle physics are replaced by one-dimensional objects called strings. It describes how these strings propagate through space and interact with each other. On distant scales larger than string scales, a string just looks like an ordinary particle with its mass, charge and other properties determined by the vibrational stage of a string. In string theory, one of the many vibrational states of the spring corresponds to the graviton, a quantum mechanical particle that carries the gravitational force. Thus the string theory is a theory of quantum gravity. String theory is a broad and varied subject that attempts to address the number of deep questions of fundamental physics. String theory has been applied to a variety of problems in black hole physics, early universe cosmology, nuclear physics, and condensed matter physics, and it has been stimulated a number of major developments in pure mathematics. Because string theory potentially provides a unified description of gravity and particle physics, it is a candidate for a theory of everything, a self-contained mathematical model that describes all fundamental forces and forms matter. Despite much work on these problems, it is not known what extent these string theory describes the real world or how much freedom the theory allows to choose the detail. String theory was first studied in the late 1960s as a theory of strong nuclear force, but being abandoned in favour of quantum chromodynamics. Subsequently, it was realised that not the very properties that make string theory unsuitable as a theory of nuclear physics make it a promising candidate for quantum theory of gravity. The earliest version of string theory, bosonic string theory, incorporated only the class of particles known as bosons. Later developed into a superstring theory, where it posits connections called supersymmetry between bosons and the class of particles called fermions. Five consistent versions of the superstring theory were developed before uh, conjecture in the mid-1990s. But there are all different limiting cases of string theory in 11 dimensions known as M-theory. In the late 1997, theorists discovered an important relationship called the ABS-CFT transformers, which relates the string theory to another type of physical theory called quantum field theory. Why is string theory so important? String theory here is many fascinating subjects, and so we may not be wondering what practical importance it is. For one thing, string theory is the next step to grow their understanding of the universe. If that's not practical enough, then there's this consideration. Your tax money goes to a fund scientific research, and people trying to get that money want to use it to study a string theory, or its alternative. A completely honest string theorist may be forced to say there are probably no practical applications for string theory, at least in the foreseeable future. This doesn't look greatly on either the cover of book or the magazine tags. It gets spiced up with talk about parallel universes and extra time dimensions and discovering new fundamental symmetries in nature. They might exist, but the theory's predictions and predictions make it so that they're unlikely to ever be critically useful, so far as we know. Understanding the nature of the universe better is a good goal in its own right, as all true humanities, some might say. But when you're looking at funding a multi-billion dollar particle accelerator or YouTube satellite programs, you might want something tangible for your money, and unfortunately, there's no reason that string theory is going to give you anything practical. String theory, insight from the holographic principle. Another key insight of string theory comes from the holographic principle, which relates to a theory of space to a theory defined by the boundary of that space. The holographic principle isn't strictly an aspect of string theory, or M-theory. It applies more generally to theories about gravity in any sort of space. Because string theory is a theory, sometimes this believed holographical principle will lie at the heart of it. Capturing multidimensional information on flat surfaces. It turns out 
as shown by Jenner's speech in 1993, the development we had from Jenner's system denies this information is based in terms that relate to a maybe value of knowledge. In quantum theory, everything can be viewed as information. In short, however, the principle of matters as follows two postulate. A Rapid theory describing a region of space is equivalent to a theory of topology surfaces enclosing the region. And the boundary of a region of space contains more than one piece of information to explain its type life. In other words, holographic principle says that everything happens in a space that can be viewed in terms of information which can be stored in the surface of that space. For example, picture a three-dimensional space that resides in a two-dimensional closed surface of a cylinder. You reside inside that space, but perhaps some sort of shadow or reflection resides on the surface. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.